In this video we'll show you how we can add some dimensions to the basic drawing we created in a previous video. So uh, this is the drawing we created so from the operations toolbar I choose dimension and then down the left hand side we have the options of the style of dimensioning we want. So in its simplest format if I choose horizontal dimensioning then we just indicate the line we want to dimension drag the mouse up this will position the leader line and then by moving the mouse to the outside of the leader lines then we can position the text box now that's okay but what it's doing is it's uh, dimensioning the length of a given line what we actually might want to do is to dimension between two points so staying in the same horizontal mode to indicate a point rather than picking up a line simply hold down the shift key let go of the shift key and then that dimensions between two points so we could use the same style hold down the shift key for that and that and then there there and there and so on the same thing works with the vertical style of dimensioning if we indicate just the line then it indicates the length of the line. If we want to dimension between two points, we can simply hold down the shift key. The snap mode is set to near, so it's locking on to the endpoints of these lines and arcs, and so on. The format of the dimensioning and the style of dimensioning is all controlled by the properties dialog box here. So this is where we can set up the leader line and the amount of standoff and so on. The text format, uh, if we want to have the units shown with the dimensions, we can choose that here. And we can also switch on dual inch metric dimensioning. The number of decimal places and other formats can be set here. To dimension a radius, we choose radius. And the first thing is to indicate the radius to be dimensioned, say this one. Then by moving the mouse around, this positions the arrowhead on that radius. And then the third position is where the text box will be. Again on here, we could do that internally. So that shows us the radius. We can also use a diameter style on a radius. if we wanted the diameter rather than the radius value. To dimension an angle, we choose angle and then click on the two lines and then by positioning the cursor we can determine where the angle dimension is placed. So that gives you a basic introduction into dimensioning. 